What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben, your host of course, and today we have a brand new watchOS update and it's watchOS 7.5 beta 3. Now this update comes roughly after two weeks since the release of beta 2 and at the time I'm recording this video I'll be happy to let you know that the public beta of watchOS 7.5 is also out for beta 3. Now, for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 that you are seeing here, the update size came in at exactly 136 megabytes. And as you can see, that is a very small update size and goes a long way to tell you that there isn't a lot of new features and changes that actually came to this update. Now, this is not all obviously that Apple released. If we go to the Apple developer website here, you can see some other updates that Apple released. So Mac OS Pixel 11.4 beta 3, iOS 14.6 beta 3, iPad OS 14.6 beta 3 and watchOS 7.5 beta 3 as well as tvOS 14.6 beta 3. All these updates came out today and just in case you're curious they are available to developers and to public beta testers. So all those were released today and now let's go ahead and look at the build number or the software changes that came with this update. If we go to general and then go to the about this watch section you can see the new build number that we have and it's 18T 5564A. This build number finally has an A at the end and just in case you're curious on beta 2 of watchOS 7.5 we had a build number that had a C at the end. The build number I believe was 18T5555C so we jumped from that to this one that has an A at the end and this goes to tell you that this update is either very stable or quite stable in terms of stability or when it comes to the release cycle of watchOS 7.5 beta, we could be coming to a near end or be seeing the final version quite soon. So that's the build number that we have with this update. And now let's talk about the new features and changes that came with this update. The first one has to do with some code changes that were mentioned in iOS 14.6 beta 3 as well as watchOS 7.5 beta 3. And they have to do when you are trying to update and you have an issue. So the code mentions that in future you might actually be able to unpair the iphone that is connected to your apple watch by going into the apple watch application and then unpairing the watch quickly and pairing it again and then trying to do a software update now i know that if you unpair your apple watch from the apple watch application it sort of takes time to pay again and that usually is like a headache if you are looking forward to updating but we could be getting a quicker way to try and update if you are having issues when doing a software update when it comes to watch aware so that's the first thing that was mentioned i can't wait to see how this is going to be working and the second thing that was mentioned with this update has to do with subscriptions for podcasts now this is not the first time that we are seeing this but on iPhones that are paired with the Apple Watch you are actually getting pop-up screen for various applications that are telling you what's new when it comes to certain Apple applications like for example on an iPhone with iOS 14.6 beta 3 podcast got a pop-up screen I believe the Apple TV app got a pop-up screen as well as the App Store so it got a pop-up screen that tells you about privacy and basically Privacy is also here with the same Apple Watch application. Now, there isn't a lot that changed with this update. It's more of a convenient update and no new features or major changes that came with this update. And when it comes to basically performance, let's try and change a watch face. I like this one because it shows me a lot. It shows me the date, the time, international clock, my workouts, weather, percentage. But let's try uh, another watch face like this one and try to do. You can see how immediate it actually changes. So that's a good thing. And then also let's perhaps try and change to the other one that usually delays or blacks out. And as you can see, it didn't black out. But but it does take some time to respond as you can see this. So sort of uh, laggy a little bit there, but not by much. 
and performance wise you can see that you know most of the applications are working as they're supposed to if we go to settings you can see how fast settings open let's close podcast and then actually close settings and try to open settings again so settings you can see how fast it opens scrolling there's no delay and so on so it's quite stable when it comes to performance and now let's talk about battery performance because i actually connected my apple watch to a charger and i charged it all the way to 100 percent that was around i believe in the morning when this update came out and i connected it to a charger to 100 percent and by now you can see that i've lost about 18 18 percent and my battery is on 82 percent so it's not really the greatest usually as in some cases i actually use up like nine percent so you can see that i i'm using a little bit of more power and then if we go to the battery health you can see my maximum health capacity it's on 96 percent on the on beta 2 it was on 96 percent now other than that that's how this update came in for me it doesn't offer any new major or flashy changes when it comes to the update itself but in future since there's a lot that are going to be coming to like the wallet app when it comes to like family sharing and more uh, apple pay cards being supported and also credit cards i can't wait to see what this update will have to offer and obviously this is watchOS 7.5 beta 3 and now when this update could be released let's actually open my calendar app on the iphone that i have here so we know that the new imax that were just released are going to be available in the second half of may so you can see today that it's the 10th of may and so most probably from the week of the 17th to like the end of may that's when we can sort of expect this update alongside the newest mac os updates that's going to be supported on the new imax that were just released at apple spring loaded event so somewhere around that week that's when i expect this update and whether you should update or not to this update, I really wouldn't advise you as this is still a beta in transition and could have surprises. So I would sort of wait at least until the release candidate or better yet, just wait for the official version to be released of watchOS 7.5. Now, other than that, that's about it for me. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, a sub would be good. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Peace.